Hey, welcome to another release of BuddyBase. We've got a bunch of new cool features lined up for you that we're going to take a look at today. Among them, OpenID Connect support, conditional UI, theming, as well as now you have the ability to create relationships between your SQL tables. All right, let's get started. So first off, we have the SQL relationships. So now you can import your tables from your SQL databases with just one click. You could already do that before, right? But the thing that's new now is that you can create relationships between your tables. So here I have a simple dummy database with tasks, persons, products, and I've gone ahead and created a small relationship here between products and tasks. So now when you go to tasks, you'll have your products right here. And if you go to your product, you'll have your tasks right here. All right, let's continue on. So next up we have conditional UI. So this is a feature that's pretty huge. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with it that you can do before. So for example, you can change your, you can change text depending on the, the status of your fields in your tables, or you can change color, you can change button variants, you can show and hide components. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all how that looks. Okay, so here we have a simple, simple app. It's just a, a list of invoices, basically that has a button on the right side here that once you click it, it's going to change to paid. And of course, you have to confirm that you want to pay the invoice, right? So you click that, and the row gets saved, and the status updates. Now it shows a green date instead, and the button is disabled to make sure you can pay for it twice, you know. So to access conditional UI, you simply click whatever component you want to manipulate. So in this case, let's look at the date. Or, yeah, let's let's look at the button. So you'll notice a new button down here on the right in the settings panel. So if you click that, it will bring up a new drawer where you can do all of your conditions. So like I said, you can hide your component, you can show your component, you can update a setting. And the settings will all correspond to the ones that are available to you in, in the component. So in this case, you have text, you have variant, you have size, you have the quiet or the disabled um, settings. Yeah, all right. So that's conditional UI. And while we're here, we can take a look at the theming options. So as you can see, we have four themes. We have lightest. We have light, we have dark, and we have darkest. Okay, so last but not least, we have OpenID Connect support. Um, so OpenID Connect is an open standard, so you can pretty much hook into whichever provider that supports it that you want. So for example, that could be, uh, it could be Active Directory, it could be Auth0, Azure, Okta, one login, or yeah, you could build your own as well if that's something you want. So to iterate again, what single sign-on and OpenID Connect brings us is uh, like you don't need to handle passwords anymore. You can auto-provision users. You can minimize password security risk. And uh, you can use your provider to control who can access buddy base. Okay, so here I configured configured this setup to be use, to use auth0. So we're going to take a look at how that one. All right. So it'll pop up just like you would expect and you just log in. I'm going to use my personal email here. And password and we're going to log in. And we're logged in. All right. Those are some pretty neat features, right? 
We also have a bunch of like bug fixes and a number of smaller improvements like the using to drawer is easier. We can now use unauthenticated SMTP. We have some layout updates um, and the search functionality is improved as well. All right, so that's it for the July release, but you might wonder what's coming up in August. So for August, we have some huge features planned. Among them, dynamic forms and a wizard component, um, global theming, so that would give you more granular control over the colors. Um, and then a better developer experience. So you could you could write your own JavaScript functions basically. And uh, yeah, so look for, looking forward to talking to you again about that. Take care.